Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode fully focused on Infinity Kingdom. Today we are going to talk about one of the best features of this game, the Mysterium. What's the Mysterium? Well, if you're an habitual viewer of this channel, you probably play Rise of Kingdoms as well or played it in the past. To you, I'm telling that this game mode is very similar to the Golden Kingdom event. To who's playing this game or wants to download it, the Mysterium is a mini-game mode inside the main game that consents you to acquire a great amount of resources, especially gold, immortals fragments, speedups, and more. This event resets every two days, and it's very important that you complete it every single time and we will see why. So, when the Mysterium is available and open for a challenge, an icon will appear on the top. Let's click on it and enter the game mode. As you can see, the goal is to reach the end of each level by proceeding through a choice-based path. On your way to the end, you will encounter different things, such as the guards, so some troops that you need to defeat in order to proceed further, the immortal mirrors that consent you to recruit other immortals to join your immortal pool, some mysterium chests that you can collect and claim the rewards, then some healing stops or healing amulets that will restore 30% of the HP to all of your surviving immortals, then you can encounter very important the mysterious shop that will consent you to buy some immortal fragments and other item at a discounted price by spending gems, and then you can also encounter the Spring of Life, which consents you to uh, revive a dead immortal or heal the immortals with the lowest HP in case you have no dead immortal. At the end of each level, you will encounter a Mysterium Judge, which is the boss of each level, which will grant you a lot of gold and some extra rewards at the end. This first floor, in my case, it's all straightforward. There are no buy or three forcations, as you can see, but this is changing every single time. The only thing I can be careful to choose are the type of guards I want to battle. I have a water team personally, and in front of me there are three choices, three guards. A wind guard, then a fire guard, and an earth guard. I'm neutral against wind, but I'm strong against fire, and I'm weak against Earth. Therefore, I'm gonna choose the middle one, the Fire Guard. Let's click on Challenge and enter the battle mode. You can now either fight manually or choose to skip the battle, which I very much suggest once you activate the auto-fight mode here on the bottom right. But sometimes fighting manually to choose when to fire the different skills can be useful, especially if the opponent is particularly difficult to beat for your team. Anyway, we have now gotten our reward, which is 5100 gold. Let's click on quit and you can see that a choice has appeared on the screen. These are the Lost Souls, which basically are some buffs that you can pick every time you beat a guard. Try to always pick the ones which suit your team the best. In my case, I want to pick this one on the left side because I would like some more accuracy rate for all of my immortals. So let's click on select and here you go. You can check anytime which are the Lost Souls you got until now by clicking on this icon on the bottom right. Once you picked, Remember that the buff will permanently be assigned to your team until you complete the Mysterium and will have effect only in this game mode. Another small punctualization is that no troops will be harmed in this game mode. You will suffer no deaths nor injuries, but you do need a full team to challenge the Mysterium. In case your team or part of it dies, you can click on Heart of the Norheim on the bottom right to use one of those tokens which you can get through events, uh, redeem codes or simply buy them for 500 gems and all of your immortals will instantly revive and will be brought back to full health. If you play this correctly though, you will not need one of those, but it's always good to have an ace up on the sleeve. 
Here I have an immortal mirror, but I don't need any immortal because my team is a full water team, so I don't want to disrupt my full water team because you get extra bonuses when all of your immortals are of the same type. I previously had Zenobia in my team, which is an earth immortal, and so when I had an immortal mirror I was always searching for another water team to put on the back, normally a Yoshitsune. So in this case, I don't need it, I want to click on this Mysterium chest to collect some rewards. Here you go, I got some wood and some dragon speedups. Here I have to choose between a Mysterium chest and a healing amulet. I normally always pick the healing amulet if I need to restore my health. But now I don't need it, so I click on the Mysterium chest. Let's fast forward this a little bit. I am now at this choice, the shop or the Tormentor, which is a stronger guard. As I don't need any of the item listed in the shop, I choose to pick the Tormentor, because it will give me some more gold, which I always need to upgrade my dragons or immortals, so let's click on challenge and beat it. Before the final boss of this floor, there is the Spring of Life and a Healing Amulet. As I said you before, Stopping here on the Spring of Life will consent you to resurrect a dead immortal. And in my case, I have no dead immortals, so it will heal the immortal with the lowest HP and bring it back to full. But I want to choose this healing amulet because it's more convenient for me. It will heal 30% of all of my surviving immortals. So they are all at full strength now. We are now at the end of the first floor. Here you go, the Mysterium Judge. He will give us stronger lost souls, more gold and some extra rewards at the end, so let's battle him right away. Afterwards, you can click on this portal, which will teleport you to the next floor. As you see now the level is different. We can make now some more choices. We can go this way, on the bottom, to reach the end, or we can go this way, up on the top, and reach the end. What's the difference? Basically, here there are no shops. If you go this way, maybe it's a little bit more tricky, but you can find the shop. So it's really worth to go there if you need what's contained in the shop. There is a Leonidas here, there is Harald, and some plumes of revenge. I don't need any of those, so I choose to go the bottom way. So, I will see you at the end. I am now before the museum judge of the second floor, Let's click on challenge, this will be tough because he has an earth team, which I'm weak to, so let's click on challenge and let's see what happens. Ok, I cleared the boss, I can claim the extra reward right now, some gold, stone, four uh, fragments of Peter the Great, which I don't need, and I can choose between different buffs. So I want this one because I don't want this one which is for holy mortals and I'm not using a holy team. So I will take this one in the middle. I can now choose between two portals. The purple one, which will take me to a third floor, and this orange one, which will take me to the third floor, but a harder third floor. So it's more difficult to clear, but we also give you more rewards. I usually go for the hard mode. So on the third floor, there is a trifurcation. We can go three ways. Left, center and right. On the right side there is a shop, on the left side there is a shop as well. So let's see if we need items in one of those shops. On the left one we have some Frederick's fragments, some Gilgamesh fragments, a Lord Rename and the Territorial Teleport. I don't need any of those, so let's check the right side, if I need something. There is Ashoka, Peter the Great, a Lord Rename and a Plume of Revenge. So you know what, I don't need anything, I will just go middle. As you can see here, unfortunately two of my immortals have died. This does not happen often, but it happens. So let's click on quit. Let's choose the buff that we want. And let's see what we can do. So if I click on this, on the healing amulet, this will restore 30% HP to all of my surviving immortals. As two of my immortals have died, the only thing I can do now is to click on the heart of the Norheim and use one. So, two of the immortals that died, 
have now revived and all the immortal's HP and energy has been restored. I want to try something now. I have unlocked the final component of my water team yesterday, my Yoshitsune, so he's not still leveled up. I can click on this immortal mirror, I can go here and select Yoshitsune, which is already a level 34, because he will match the strength of the other immortals in your team. So when I go on this guard and I click on challenge, I can change my formation and remove my level 28 Yoshitsune and put this one, level 34 Yoshitsune. Let's close and let's challenge the enemy. So which way to go right now? There is a Tormentor with Earth Team, so we want to avoid this, Lightning, which is also strong, Water, which we are neutral, and also Holly and Earth. So we're going to pick this water team. So I'm going right. Finally, here we have the last boss, the Mysterium Judge, which in this case has a holy team, so a very strong team. Let's challenge him. Here you go, we cleared the stage. Let's click on quit and let's claim our final chest. As you can see at the end, the all mission complete tag will appear on the top and this Mysterium event will reset after one day and three hours, so you can challenge this Mysterium every two days. That's all for this guide, I hope you guys enjoyed and it was useful to you, if yes, please push the like button and subscribe to the channel not to miss out to any future Infinity Kingdom content. As always, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!